Factsverse presents Sleep Paralysis – Do You Ever Wake Up and Can't Move? If you've ever been a victim of sleep paralysis, click that like button and also tell us in the comments about what happened to you. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. In a perfect world, everyone would be able to fall asleep the second their head hits the pillow, stay asleep all night, and wake up feeling completely refreshed. Unfortunately, for many people, this is not the case. In fact, many people struggle to fall asleep at night, others wake up several times during the night. And then there are some people whose sleeping issues are much more frightening. Sleep paralysis. Have you ever experienced it? It's a very scary phenomenon. People who suffer from sleep paralysis wake up and are unable to move their body at all. What can be scarier than being completely paralyzed while still completely awake? You don't know why it's happening or when you'll start getting any feeling back, if you'll get any feeling back. There are some people whose condition is so serious that they wake up feeling like there is someone or something sitting on top of their chest. The idea of sleep paralysis is terrifying. Many people don't have it or know anybody who does. However, it is more common than you think. According to a 2011 study, 7.6% of the population has experienced sleep paralysis at least once. When you hear people describe sleep paralysis, they talk about the inability to move. They also talk about an unusual presence lurking in the room. These descriptions make it easy to understand how scary this condition is. It may be scary, but it's not a sign of any medical issues, and it's also not dangerous. It's terrifying, but you can't die from it. The reason people suffer from sleep paralysis is still unclear. However, doctors do believe it's due to the interruption of the transition of different sleep stages. During the REM stage of sleep, which stands for rapid eye movement, the body goes into a paralyzed state called REM atonia. This is what keeps people from moving and acting violently in reaction to the dreams they're having. Rematonia protects your body while your dreams set in. People who have sleep paralysis remain in that rematonia stage even after they wake up. That makes it impossible for them to move the body when they're awake. There are three main categories of hallucinations that people will have during a sleep paralysis. Everyone with the condition suffers from one of these three. The first one is the incubus. When a person suffers from this type, they'll feel intense pressure on their chest. It'll often feel like somebody is sitting on top of them, making it hard to breathe. Researchers believe that this is just the mind playing a trick on you. Waking up, feeling this pressure can be frightening and it makes it difficult to breathe. People who experience the intruder, which is the second version, they often see a shadowy figure lurking in their bedroom as they slip into sleep paralysis. There's not anybody there, obviously. Experts believe this is a hypervigilant state of the midbrain. It means that the brain perceives even the slightest stimuli as a threat. A typical sound can cause a person in sleep paralysis to become terrified. The third condition is an out-of-body experience. Some people with sleep paralysis report feeling as though they have levitated out of their own body and they are hovering over it. During the REM stage of sleep, there are parts of the brain that inhibit movement while you are sleeping and they become activated. According to Daniel Dennis, a cognitive neuroscience researcher, you feel like you're moving because the area of the brain that coordinates is overactive. Preventing sleep paralysis and breaking out of it can be difficult, but experts say it is possible. First, to avoid the phenomenon altogether, avoid sleeping on your back. Unfortunately, this is a lot easier said than done. It's difficult to stay on your side while you're sleeping. You're obviously not awake to determine whether or not you're on your back or your side. If you wake up and you're in sleep paralysis, focus on your muscles. You're going to be scared, so this might be hard, but if you can concentrate on moving just one muscle, even the slightest movement in a finger, that can break the paralysis. And finally, sleep deprivation can cause sleep paralysis, so you should strive to get at least eight hours of sleep each night. Now, while anybody can have sleep paralysis, 
There are a few conditions that puts a person at greater risk of experiencing it. People with bipolar disorder are especially susceptible to the phenomenon. The same is true with people who have narcolepsy. If you suffer from frequent leg cramps, you are also at risk. While sleep paralysis can be terrifying, the good news is that even if you do have it, you will be fine. Nobody has ever died during a sleep paralysis episode. So if you let it run its course, you'll be able to move again and you can go on with your day and tell all your family and friends about the very scary thing you just experienced. Subscribe for more!